Tens of thousands of Marylanders told that they were paid too much in unemployment insurance benefits and the state wants that money back. Well, we're going to put this into focus here tonight because those claimants believe that it's not right and that it's not their fault. WMAR 2 News, Mallory Safaste is more on these notices and how it's impacted jobless workers because if it's a matter to you, it is a matter for Mallory. These are people who need help and now they're being told they're in debt for tens of thousands of dollars. We requested information on how many overpayment notices have been sent out in the last few months, and it's clear something triggered them around the first of the year. Astronomical balances for people without jobs and surviving off of unemployment benefits. When you, you logged know, into your account, what's the overpayment balance? $9,200. It still shows overpayment, $17,304 for me. It looks like I now have an overpayment of almost $50,000 because, yes, $50,000. Maura Tagliaferro didn't even receive that much from the Division of Unemployment Insurance, and yet her Beacon account shows she's in the red over 40 k I'm not sure what they did. I don't, I wish I could tell you. I, but no, they're not acknowledging fault. I don't. They're just saying that, oh, well, it's an overpayment. It's valid. Patrice Carter knows others have received similar notices and posted about it on Facebook. March 21st, 449 p.m. So there is a lot of talk about people having large overpayment amounts. If you have an overpayment, just say yes below. 82 right here, right? So many people have said yes to this issue. That was in a few hours. The real numbers are much higher. More than 44,000 notices from October to February. A third of those sent out in January after the state started processing claims under the new extended federal unemployment insurance programs. I don't think they understand. It's not by our doing. It's by putting us under the wrong program when they first started the issue. These claimants believe it has to do with the program they were placed in. When their claims were reactivated in January, that's when they received an overpayment notice. These notices state they were overpaid on a weekly basis dating back to last March and April. And now they're being told they'll have to pay it back. They put me in this program. I applied for regular unemployment in March and then they they moved me into the PUA. I don't know. I mean, they, their system, they do their all, all their own stuff in there. It's not, it's not up to me. They just started paying me and I just figured, no, they must have worked it out. I, it's not, it's not any of my decisions I've made. I need to file bankruptcy when all this happened because I couldn't afford to pay my bills. And now you're giving me an overpayment for something I didn't do. My tax refund is pretty equivalent to what I'm being asked to pay in overpayments. Um, and that money was supposed to help sustain me through the next year. Um, so it's just been really terrible. Adding to their stress, they don't know how they'll get it resolved when they can't get through to the department. Contact is hard. And to this date, I've never been able to talk to a human being in that office. I'm on unemployment because I don't have a job and because I, I need help. And now you want to put me in debt? I mean, it, they absolutely need to take accountability for it. It's their error. They can't, they clearly can't handle, you know, the, the influx of, of unemployment claims and they were unprepared and that's something that they need to take accountability for. The Department of Labor said claimants are not held financially responsible for overpayments that are due to an administrative or system error. But if it's valid, claimants have 30 days to request a waiver for the overpaid amount. And under the Continuous Assistance for Unemployed Workers Act, PUA claimants can request a recovery waiver even if their previous request was denied. The department will be emailing potentially eligible PUA claimants with an overpayment, instructions, and an application by next week.